listen to me, without talking, if you're going so slowly and the child hits your mirror so that you're practically at a standstill, because that's the way you should be when you're exiting a school where 500 children are coming out of a school, whether they're crossing at a crossing place or not. How old are you? Nine. Nine. How old are you, Tyler? Uh, eight. Eight. Where they're crossing at a crossing space where they're supposed to cross or not. You're the parent, you're the grown-up. Kids sometimes cross where they're supposed to, sometimes kids cross where they're not supposed to. Until I don't see any children anymore, I'm gonna be crawling out of here. So if she hits your car, if she runs into your car, she can't run with the speed to cause her clavicle to break unless your car is also moving. And it may not have been going 30 miles an hour, maybe it was going 10 miles an hour, but fast enough for you to injure her. Because if your car wasn't moving that fast, she wouldn't have been that injured. I don't know if she was that injured. I'm gonna take a look. It was a side impact. It was not a front impact. Sure. It was a side impact. Sure. It was just nothing. A just a second. Sh show me how it was a side. I'm curious. I, I, have I, would like, I would like to see how it was a side May impact. May I show you the picture? Absolutely. Because that would have meant that she ran into your car seeing it because the mirror is in the middle she of your car. She literally ran into the car. And the moment that she smacked against my car, I promptly stopped. It was a side impact. It was not any front impact. Just a second. That is my you mirror that she fell completely off. You can't tell this was a side impact. How could you tell this was a side impact? That's exactly where it hit and my entire side mirror fell off. Well, I know it was your side mirror, but that doesn't mean that she ran into your side mirror. It means she collided with your side mirror. Yes, that's exactly where it happened. Okay. And okay. the car stopped on a dime. There was nothing I could do to avoid the situation. I don't know that. And I have also, I don't I know have that. also the crash report that speaks to that as well. I'm more than happy to look at it. Please. Who are you? I am Emmy's stepfather, Svetlana's boyfriend. Shit. Who are you? I'm the Vietnamese crossing guard. Good. Stand up, please. Tell me your name, sir. Mark Masansnik. Mr. Masansnik, you were the crossing guard? That's correct. Are you going to tell me that this little girl was crossing not where she's supposed to cross? This little girl was ready to dart across the street. She's supposed to... No, don't tell oh, me what she oh, was ready oh, for. Okay. I want you to answer my question okay. first, and then, then I will elicit the information that I need. She was not crossing in a designated area. Correct. Did you see her when she was about to step off? Yes, I did. Did you tell her not to cross? I yelled at her to stop. At the time you yelled at her to stop, did you see the plaintiff's car? Yes, I did. Did you yell at her to stop because you saw the plaintiff's car? The I... answer would be yes. Yes. Were you standing behind the plaintiff's car or in front of the plaintiff's car? In front car? of the car. So if plaintiff was paying attention, she would have seen Emmy about to cross the street because we're talking about a 15 foot, that's what she testified to, that from where she was to where Emmy was, mm -hmm. was about 15 feet. And how far from where Emmy was were you? About 30 feet. You're standing 30 feet away right. from Emmy. And how far away from Emmy was the plaintiff? Actually, when she ran, ran on top of her. She ran just as Miss Brooke was on top of her. She had no time to do anything. Sit down. 